Traveler is built with two air cells inside the outer shell connected by bulkheads. These bulkheads or connection points are placed off center, not located in the bow or stern, but you can see where they are connected when you inflate one of the two air cells. Each air cell fills up about three quarters of the side tube, wraps around the bow or stern, and fills up roughly one quarter of the opposite tube. For boats made earlier than 2017, you will need a bulkhead zipper adapter. Before 2017, we used a number 10 zipper, but now we use number eight on our air cells. These bulkhead zipper adapters simply zip onto your bulkhead, allowing you to connect a current air cell to any of our older boats. Check out our YouTube video, number 10 to number eight bulkhead zipper adapter for those instructions. If the front air cell is damaged, you'll work in the bow. If the rear air cell is damaged, you'll work in the stern. In this video, we are replacing the rear air cell. Start with the boat inflated if possible and loosen the valve with your valve wrench. Once you have it loose, deflate the boat. Remove the split ring from the zipper cars on each side. A pair of needle nose pliers might help to get the split rings off if you're having trouble. And unzip the outer shell. If you're replacing a front air cell, after the split rings have been removed, unzip the zipper all the way to the front of the boat. Make sure to unzip the boat all the way past the bulkhead on each side so you'll have the entire air cell that you're working on exposed. Remove the valve from the outer shell. Pull the heat shrink tubing off the zipper ends on the side of the bulkhead that needs to be replaced and pull the zipper apart. Move to the other bulkhead and do the same. It is important to make sure to leave the bulkhead attached to the undamaged air cell or you'll create more work for yourself. Once the air cell is detached from both bulkheads, pull the shorter end through the loop inside the bow or stern to remove the air cell from the boat. Pull out the old air cell, lay out the new one and make sure it fits the perimeter of the boat. Tuck the ends of the new air cell back into the body so it is easier to zip to the bulkhead. If you have an older traveler with number 10 zippers, now is the time to attach the bulkhead zipper adapter. The zippers may be positioned right side up, in which case you'll zip them up like a jacket. Follow those instructions, then continue. Make sure both air cells are straight with no twists in them. Line up the colored bulkhead strips and the bottom of the new air cell seam so that it is just above the welded seam on the outer shell. The zipper on the bulkheads are installed upside down so they don't create bumps or friction points on the outer shell when inflated. Use the number eight zipper car from your repair kit to zip the new air cell onto the bulkhead. Start with the zipper car upside down and work both sides of the zipper into the zipper car to get it started. When zipped correctly, the ends of the colored strips, the welded seams on the bottom, and the folds on top of the air cell opposite the seams should line up within an inch or so. If they don't line up the first time, unzip the zipper and carefully zip them together, adjusting for the misalignment on the first try. Once you have it lined up, run the zipper all the way around and pull it off the opposite end that you started from. Then cut the zipper so the ends are even and make a small cut down the zipper about an inch long close to the zipper coils. Mm -hmm. 
slip a piece of heat tubing over the zipper coils and carefully heat it with a lighter. The tubing will shrink and secure the zippers together. Do this to both ends of the zipper to keep them together. Once you have the end of the air cell with the valve on it connected to the bulkhead, install the valve through the outer shell of the boat. If your boat has a lee filled C7 valve, make sure that the black ring goes on the outside of the outer shell with the groove side towards the boat. Run the short end of the air cell back through the loop in the bow or stern. Attach the other end of the air cell to the bulkhead following the same steps. Make sure both air cells are straight with no twists in them. Zip the outer shell back up on both sides, making sure the zipper cars are located in the stern and replace the split rings. Use your needle nose pliers to make it a little easier if needed. If the valve doesn't completely fill out the outer shell, or if the valve seems to be pulling the outer shell in one direction or another, deflate the boat and adjust the air cell as needed. After adjusting and verifying that the air cell is aligned correctly, inflate the boat and tighten the valve with your leaf fill valve wrench and air test for at least 24 hours. If you have any questions about the installation, give our customer service a call at 1-800-247-3432.